Right, okay, we're going to do a uh, very quick technique called masking using fireworks. Um, we're going to make a new fireworks file, which I'm going to make just for this purpose. 600 by 600, I'm going to leave the resolution at 72, and the background is transparent. There's my background, there's my, sorry, yeah, there's my background, so I'm now going to import in the picture. So if I go File, Import, I've got a picture from Photobucket which is copyright free and got a picture called gold what I'm going to do is show you a couple of ways to use the background and either a shape on top of it which will take the background from behind it or I'm going to use later then I'm going to put some text on there to act as background as well so first of all if I just get a shape let's go for a star and if I draw the star on the background and what I always do is I always add a stroke if you want to see that there's going to be an outline on the shape so I'm going to go for a red stroke and make it six pixels wide so in order to do this masking it's very simple all I do is I make sure I've selected the background using the black arrow at the top edit copy then click on the shape right click edit paste inside you can do paste as mass but you'll lose your stroke so there we go as you can see now I can move the star around and I've got the background in there and also I can then click on the background itself press delete there we go I've now got my star with the picture inside and if I click on this blue object in the center I can move the background around to position it as and where I want to okay so that's fairly simple that's masking using a shape I'm just going to undo to get out of this and I'm going to show you how to do it with text which is ex almost exactly the same thing if I just import the background again import there's my picture gold and if I drag it out okay then I start putting my text on there so let's write the word gold obviously at the moment my text is too big so if I make this smaller I've chosen a thick font here and I also made bold as well so on the slider the maximum size it'll go up to is 96 so you might have to type in a bigger size let's try 200 okay that's pretty good and if I once again I'm going to add a stroke this time I'm going to go for a black stroke I think and go back in there stroke options let's make it thicker mm, nine's probably too thick three I can do another effect there. Let's, let's add a bit of a drop shadow as well on the filters shadow and glow drop shadow there we go same thing now click on the background right click edit copy onto your text right click edit paste inside there we go it looks like it's gone see through but you should be able to move it around once again delete the background I've got my text here within the image and I can once again move it around to position it as I wish if I want to then I can just click on the outside of the canvas fit canvas make it make it nice and small and then save the text so obviously I'll call this gold text you can either do that with one letter or a number of letters entirely up to you but it's a nice little technique you can use, which is very simple 